Hi there, my name is Victor and I am a master technician. Hey guys, welcome back, Victor G here. Today I'm going to show you how to install an engine block heater on all 3.5 liter Toyota and Lexus 2GRFE engines. Now this applies to the transverse mounted engines. Uh, so models like the RX 350, a Sienna, Highlander, etc. cetera, uh, and the front wheel drive cars like the Camry or the ES 350. The longitudinal mounted engines, such as in the sports cars like the IS 350, etc., they're done a little bit different. Open the hood and uh, remove the engine cover. So depending on your model, it might look a little bit different, but uh, on this RX, we're gonna take off this one here. So uh, open up your uh, block heater box and uh, grab the cord from there and then feed it down somewhere over here so you can get it down into the um, rear uh, by the firewall and then uh, access it from below. So uh, go under the vehicle and then find the end of the cord that you uh, put down there. So make sure when it's routed it's not touching any exhaust components uh, or the power steering uh, rack or you know the axles or anything that can uh, turn and move so make sure it's routed appropriately and then uh, this is the hole right here that the block heater goes into so it's towards the rear of the block uh, towards the transaxle under the exhaust manifold on all the 2gr engines uh, like uh, of the transverse type the hole is going to be there this vehicle uh, does not have a transfer case if you had a transfer case you would have a transfer case right here so you would have to access the hole from above the transfer case. Uh, it makes it a little bit more challenging, but uh, all the front wheel drive ones will be the same. Uh, some of them will have an engine cover here. This model doesn't. So if it has an engine cover, remove it first, and then you'll be able to install the block heater. Now grab your block heater out of the box and uh, grab the cord and uh, install it into the cord. Slide it in all the way until it stops. like this so you have uh, no gap here and then the block heater, heater kit is going to come with some of this uh, heat transfer grease so that's really important it's going to help uh, transfer the heat from the block here into the block so uh, smear a bunch of this uh, grease all over the body of the block heater and then uh, this tab right here you'll need to turn it uh, because it needs to engage with a flat spot there on the top of the block so turn it and then uh, insert the block heater and push it in until the tab clicks there we go now uh, zip tie this uh, block heater cord to uh, components they're not going to be moving and uh, to keep it out of the way from ever touching the exhaust or the steering linkage or anything like that well this way it's gonna be uh nice and secure and uh, now route the block heater cord in the engine bay so again uh, keep it away from any exhaust or any components that are moving so uh you can go around like this and then uh, zip tie it uh wherever you find is a good place to zip tie it so it's not interfering with checking the air filter or the fuse box etc and then on this particular model you can take this cover off and then you can run it down uh, inside the front bumper and then you can have it come out in the front so you can easier access it and then you can finish the installation by uh, securing it uh, in a convenient place where you can easily access it uh, some people I've seen, they like leave this dangling outside of the hood, but then what happens is that it, it sways around uh, in the wind and it scratches the paint or the headlight or wherever it's sitting on. So make sure it's secured and it's not going to damage anything. And uh, most importantly, don't forget to unplug it before you drive away. Otherwise, you might uh, rip a few things off. So there you go. Uh, block heater installation on the 2GR engine is completed. Thanks for watching. Please check for product links below the video for any tools or supplies needed to complete the procedure shown in this tutorial. If you would like me to make a specific video, please leave a suggestion in comments.
and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Cheers.